Hey everyone, so today this is day five of Alliance Quest and I tried a solo king with my Captain Marvel. I just sat around counting down the last ten minutes, seeing if anybody else jumped in to fight to face him. Um it's only the second time I think I actually used Captain Marvel against him. All the rest of the times I use um use Captain America a uh, few times I use Ultron just trying to chip off a little bit but the main person that I've been using is Captain America um, I actually just recently started using Captain Marvel in Alliance Quest um, started off pretty decent but then uh, I evaded the first level one but then you see I, I didn't evade that one took off a chunk of damage I, I think I ended up missing like three or four evades in this fight and the L1 and it just it takes off so much damage not so bad when using Captain America but Captain Marvel she, she can't take the damage to a little rhythm here, dodging in and out, uh, but it's when he doesn't have his L1 and he doesn't fire it right away, I gotta back out, bait it. So I, I don't want to get to his second special because it's a little bit harder to evade. The first part comes out so fast. And then the, the second part just crawls across and if you miss time evading either one of those. One thing I forgot when I started this fight is each time he's stunned, the, the stun is reduced by like 0.5 or 0.1 seconds. in panic mode trying to get as close to KO as possible I got back in and out and I don't like fighting this way because eventually you'll dodge back and then get blasted by R1 like what happened right there Pretty good point total against him and in one shot. About, what was that, about uh, 630k. So, my teammate jumped in, took a little bit more health off, so I'm not sure how much I took off. Probably like 100k health points in that one fight and then just pick Doctor Strange and, and finish him off. I think it only takes like eight hits to finish him off. So that's Kang boss battle. Uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you later.